Hi everyone, welcome to this video. Uh, we're going to find the length of this line here in this right angled triangle and the hint is we're going to use Pythagoras. So first thing you're going to do is label which side is A, B and C. The side C always has to be the longest side. So that's called the hypotenuse. Our longest side here is this one. And you can tell because it's the longest. Also, this longest side never touches the right angle. So I'm going to write hypotenuse on here. And also we're going to label it with side C. The other two sides are A and B. Doesn't actually matter which one's A or which one's B. Pick randomly. I'm going to make that one A and I will make that one B. So now I'm going to write down the Pythagoras formula. Here it is. And next I'm going to replace the letters a and B with the numbers that are shown here because I know what they are. It's really important that you remember to write in squared. The formula says it's A squared so replace A with 4.2 that's going to be 4.2 squared. Over here we don't know what C is, so I'm going to copy down the letter C like that. Next, I'm going to calculate what number this is equivalent to. So here we go. Let's see if I can zoom in. 4.2 squared plus 10.5 squared. I'm going to write this down and I'm going to write it underneath like this. In every step I'm going to copy down the right hand side. Right, equals c squared. Notice my equal signs are all lined up and there's only one equal sign per line. Okay, this is not our final answer. To get the final answer, we want the length of x, so we want just the letter c. And so we're going to do the opposite of squaring, which is square root. So square root, let's do it on my calculator. You should have a button which lets you paste in the answer. So I'm going to paste in the answer there. So it copies down the 127.89. You don't have to copy it in. And I've got an answer which has a fraction and a third. Let's change that into a decimal. All right. And we're going to round it to one decimal place because that's what the question tells us to do. And because we're measuring in centimetres, I'm going to write centimetres. So that's our final answer to one decimal place. Thank you for watching.